Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Adrian Huang and I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Vancouver, Canada. I'm going to teach you how you can set up your virtual Zoom clinics and mimic the workflow and efficiencies that you had in your real life offices. I found these extremely helpful for including my trainees, allied health professionals such as physiotherapists and occupational therapists as well as medical assistants. My patients have been extremely satisfied with how these have gone, so I'm going to share that with you today. So let's go. Welcome to my virtual clinic. I'm going to show you how you can use all the tools in Zoom to recreate the amenities you had in your real life clinic. This includes a check-in desk for your patients, multiple clinic rooms for yourself, your trainees, or allied health professionals to use, as well as a review room where you can review these cases away from the patient. I'm also going to show you how you can do all of this without having to personally manage or room any of the patients just like in real life. So here we go. As you can see, currently I'm logged on as well as my assistant and an orthopedic resident or trainee. We're all logged on virtually from different locations so that we can be physically separate while still working in the same virtual environment. The first thing I like to do when I'm managing my virtual clinics is to create my breakout rooms. If you've enabled this function from the website, you should see this icon down here. If you don't see this icon, I have a video that shows you how to activate this function. I'll leave the link below. So once I click on this icon, you'll see this breakout room pop up. I make six rooms, so I'll click here up to six. And I choose manually, and this gives me the option when I hit create breakout rooms, to customize them. So I like to rename them into room one. Up to room four. And I also create a review room where I can review the cases with trainees away from the patient, as well as what I call a completed room. The function of the completed room is that sometimes patients who are less tech savvy, they don't know how to leave the meeting. So I'll get my MOA to stash them in here so that they're out of the way and I can continue to use the other rooms and continue my workflow efficiently. So once I do this, I simply assign the orthopedic resident to one of the rooms purely for the purpose of opening them. And now I can click open all rooms and now I can close this. Once I've done this, now this is the most important part. What I need to do is make my MOA or my assistant into the host. So if I go to the right hand column and select Dr. Huang's assistant and click on more and select make host and click yes, my MOA can then make me the co-host. And you can see I'm now the co-host. It confirms that they're then the co-host. So as you can see, I have now lost the breakout rooms icon and that's okay because now my MOA has access to that and she can now room the patients. My MOA now has to assign me to one of the breakout rooms as well so that I can activate that link. Alright as you can see my MOA has assigned me to a breakout room so I will go ahead and join that. I'm now in the breakout room and if I break, bring out the breakout room participants and click on this little icon here. I can see that my MOA has assigned the orthopedic resident to room 2. And as you can see, nobody has been assigned the remainder of these rooms. Now once I'm in these rooms, we just wait for my MOA to similarly assign the patients who come by into these rooms. The great thing about this is I never have to go back to the main session and I can just wait here until my assistant assigns my patients to these different rooms and I can hop from room to room. So for example, if I want to go see what the orthopedic resident is doing in room two, I simply click join. And now I'm in the room two with my orthopedic resident and a patient whenever they come in here. Similarly, if I want to go to the review room, I often come here to dictate or wait for my resident to come and so that we can review the cases together. If I do want to go back to the main session, for example, if I need to clarify some instructions for my MOA, I simply hit leave breakout room, followed by return to main session. And then I'll come back to the main session where my MOA is always sitting and managing all of her patients and I can tell her whatever clarifications are required. From here, 
I can go back to the breakout rooms by clicking on the breakout room icon. And as you'll notice, I can only go back to the breakout room where I left from. So I left from the review room, so I can only go back to the review room. However, once I'm back in the review room from this back end, I can navigate to any of the other breakout rooms. So as you can imagine, this is a very efficient and familiar looking setup that we can create our virtual clinics into. It mimics a lot of the functions and features that we had in our in real life clinics so that it can preserve a lot of that efficiency as well. I found that the patients really like it, the trainees like it, and from an efficiency standpoint, my MOAs have been extremely helpful in terms of booking and managing my patients. So feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions and I'll be my, do my best to answer them. I hope this works for you as well as it has for me. I'll also be posting another video specifically directed at the medical office assistants to show them what they'll need to do once they're logged in as well. So make sure you check that out.